Ali, do you want to start us off? Um, first time in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the dugout, how was that? Yeah, no, it was. Um, yeah, look, it's it's obviously a great stadium and um, fantastic stadium actually, and it's actually my first time in here, so uh, uh, I enjoyed it and uh, yeah, brilliant turnout by the fans for for a friendly game. Obviously, good cause as well and um, good atmosphere of the game. Obviously, Harry scored four goals today. Does that show the, the professionalism within him? That obviously all the noise around him, he can go out there and still do that. Yeah, I don't think that's ever been in question about you know about Harry. Um, you know, he's I don't think uh, his whole career he's, he's shown that, and um, yeah, he was he was good today. You know, for the majority of our stuff was was fairly positive, um, but you know, obviously still got a fair few things to work on. Tom, with a week to go the how how do you assess? How far the players have come and kind of learning your, your system and get to get to your philosophy? Well, it's, it's, it's hard to say. We, we, we haven't had, sort of had a disrupted pre-season, fair to say. We've, we've obviously had a you know, game cancelled and sort of the other fixture also sort of, you know, we had a different opposition than what we were expecting. So, we, yeah, we, we feel we probably, we are a little bit short, but today's game hopefully edges us closer. We've got... Barcelona on Tuesday as well, so we can get some more match minutes into some guys. Um, look, the players are working hard and, and you know, trying to adopt um, sort of the methodology and the way we want to play. And um, you can see there's progression there, but you know, we've still got a long way to go. And you know, we've still got players that obviously come into the squad as well that um, you know still have to be integrated into it. So we've still got still got a bit of work to do. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I, I mean, I, I don't have a fixed number in my head, but yeah, I mean, it's fair to say our squad's, uh, you know, um, too big at the moment, and they're they're obviously guys who who will look for opportunities elsewhere. Um, you know, from my perspective, it's not something I'm involved in. I'll deal with what's in front of me, but um, you know, we we obviously I think we'll see some movement. Um, out, you know, over, over the next few weeks is obviously still, you know, a few a bit of time before the end of the transfer window. I don't, I'm just planning for, you know, preparing the team for Tuesday and then we'll work our way into Brentford next week. I haven't even thought about sort of, you know, who's going to start that game. It's about trying to, you know, have as many players ready for that fixture as possible. As I said, we've still got guys coming in. We've obviously, you know, we signed uh, young Ashley Phillips on, on Friday. Um, he'll train with the first team and then we've got another couple hopeful, hopefully coming in over the next couple of days. So all those kind of things, you know, are part of the planning and, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll deal with sort of the team for Brentford, you know, towards the back end of the week. Well, like I said, it, it hasn't been done yet, so it's, I don't think it's right for me to, to talk about it, but there's no doubt we, we, we need some sort of bolstering in that central defensive area and you know, looking for players who you know, can play the kind of football we want. You know, We obviously need defenders who are going to be um, you know, able to work in in, in, a, in aggressive formation, um, you know, be able to sort of defend really well one-on-one -on -one and, and with space behind and... Uh, you know, hopefully, um, like I said, we'll get uh, one or two done in the next uh, few days to, to bolster us in that area. Um, since the stadium opened in 2019, these supporters have barely had the chance to witness and experience their team playing attractive and entertaining football. Um, when you were at Celtic, you mentioned about how, you know, coming to the stadium is more of escapism for fans. How unfortunate is it for you that these fans can finally feel at home there? Yeah, look, it's it's... You know, that's the responsibility you have when you manage any football club, I guess. You, you know, the, the lifeblood of it is the supporters and you want to reward them for their faith um, and, and belief in the team. And um, you can do that a number of ways. Obviously, the best way is to have success. You know, every, every group of supporters, that's what they crave. They, they want their team, see their team winning and they want to see their team 
um, lifting trophies. Um, but within that context, I think the way you play the game is also important, certainly for me. And you know, I want I want our fans to look forward to coming to the stadium and and, and following the team and and you know be part of the experience in that you know if we're playing the kind of football I want us to play they'll feel a part of it because it'll you know they'll they'll be able to sort of ride the adrenaline that the team um, gives them you know the energy goes both ways you know that the supporters can can give the, the team energy but we can also give our supporters energy by showing them that you know we, we want to play football that excites them. Tom. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, from my perspective, I think I don't know what deadlines means. You know, we know there's one deadline. That's the end of the transfer window. Beyond that, um, you know, I think. Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm in open dialogue with Harry and, and the club on you know on a regular basis. Um, you know, I've said to them if if the status quo changes, then inform me. I don't need to know about the sort of uh, you know comings and goings. Uh, in between because you know I, I just want to deal with what's in front of me because I'm still irrespective of the outcome of that I'm still building a team here you know and um, I can't wait for a decision either way to get going because you know we, we don't have the time or, or the luxury to do that so um, you know I'm working with what's in front of me and um, you saw today that you know Harry's certainly um, invested in what we're doing and you know, we'll keep doing that unless something changes. How do you feel about Bale's approach? It's fairly public. Is that just fair game these days? I don't have a view either way, mate. It's not, you know, that's that's for up to Bale to decide, you know, if that's the way they want to conduct things. It's not up to me to, to judge that, um, you know. Like I said, it doesn't affect me. I don't, I, don't, I don't sort of sit there on a daily basis and wonder what other clubs are doing. Um, uh, I think... You know, what is um, factual right now is a contract player of our football club. You know, so I certainly wouldn't talk about contracted players at other football clubs. So, but I'm not at Bayern, mate, so they can sort of go the way they want. Again, I, I, I'll deal with that when the time comes. You know, you, you kind of always have these contingencies in your head anyway, whether it's Harry or anyone else. You know, you, like I said, there's no guarantee about anybody. You know, there's all sorts of things that can happen that can affect your planning. So, but I'm not going to, you know, spend a lot of time and energy, you know, thinking about something that may not happen because, again, I don't have that luxury. I mean, it's different maybe if it was my, you know, third or fourth year at the club and we'd already established the way we play in an established squad and, and that was my major issue or my only issue, then, yeah, OK, maybe I'd be a little bit more obsessive about it. But right now, I'm trying to build a, you know, style of game, a, a, a squad of players, um, you know, different training. You know, there's so many things that are really important that... I can't be distracted by, you know, one or, one or two other things. Sh Shakhtar are waiting to come in, so Adam, and then finish with George, please. Does today's performance from Harry mean that you have no doubt that if he is here next week, then you'd be happy to, to play and carry on with that? Because obviously you say you're building a team, which means I imagine you're having to work on things in training for the longer, medium to longer term as well. Yeah, but, I mean, it's, there's no doubt that I would use Harry, yeah. I mean, I don't need today to tell me that, yeah. So, I mean, he's he's a fantastic striker, one of the world's best. And, um, yeah, I think the way the team plays will help him as well, you know. I mean, you know, he, he loves scoring goals and, as you saw today, we can create a lot of chances. So he's going to be the beneficiary of that. Oh, you are reading something into it, aren't you? So, I, I, look, again, I'm not going to ask, tell people how they feel or what they want to read into it at the end of the day, and I don't even know, you know, like, you know, um, sort of what's in Harry's mind, let alone um, anyone else's. So, um, uh, look, I, I think all the thi all these things will obviously play out, um, you know. 
over the next sort of period and you know we'll we'll deal with what uh what sort of happens from there but uh, you know from my perspective like i said i've got a i've got a team to build here and today showed me that you know we we've made some progress but we've still got a lot of work to do you know there was areas today that you know i wasn't delighted with so we, we need to sort of make sure we we focus on getting this team right and then um you know we'll see what happens after that Yeah, I just you know look, and it's not it's not sort of a reflection on the players. It's just where we're at, where I think they're doing a lot of things because I'm telling them to do it rather than the belief. I, I really wasn't happy with our last sort of five or six minutes of the first half. We just we were playing for one nil, and it's just not something that sits well with me. And and you know, and I, I don't blame the players because you know, they, like I said, they, they they're kind of going at the moment through my guidance, but. Yeah, that shows me we've still got a little bit of work to do in terms of just getting them to really believe in the kind of football team we want to be. Um, so, which is not unexpected because, like I said, we've been working together for four or five weeks. So, but you know, when I see things like that, it just it's a good sort of reminder to me that um, you know, it's still a fair way to go. Okay. Fair, fair reason for it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.